if you watch the show regularly, I'm guessing you're not doing great. Yeah, me neither. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're breaking down the reactions notable public figures have had to the 2024 United States presidential election, which saw Republican Donald Trump defeating the Democratic candidate, Vice President Kamala Harris. If you haven't seen our last video about celeb reactions to the 2024 election, be sure to check that out first. Please note that this video is unranked, with all celebs to follow listed in alphabetical order. You know, I just want to start tonight by admitting something I feel uh, you all should know. I voted for Kamala Harris. I know! I know, Myers keeps it close to the vest. Ariana Grande. I didn't think you'd understand me. If you've seen our last video on this topic, you'll know that some public figures didn't hold back in letting loose their thoughts on the results of the November 5th election. However, others, like pop superstar Grande, took a softer, more subdued approach. The morning that the results of the election became clear, Grande took to her Instagram story to post gentle words of encouragement to her fellow Harris supporters. Against a black backdrop, Grande, who had publicly supported the vice president's campaign and spearheaded efforts to shore up voter registration, posted simply, quote, holding the hand of every person who is feeling the immeasurable heaviness of this outcome today. Bill Maher. We had an election. A lot of you can sit down. <laughs> so upset this guy is. He's not going to sit again. This HBO late night host is known for his raw, unfiltered political commentary, and Trump's 2024 electoral victory was the furthest thing from an exception. Although Maher kept a light, humorous tone, his message to Harris and other defeated Democrats was characteristically blunt and unapologetic. For months, Democrats have been saying, how is this even close? And they're right, it wasn't. Encouraging members of the put-upon political party to, quote, look in the mirror, Maher sharply criticized the Democrats' perceived arrogance in thinking that the now president-elect stood no chance against Vice President Harris, pointing to Trump's decisive wins in the Electoral College and popular vote. Marr buried kernels of hard truth between jokes poking fun at the now president-elect's past scandals, calling to light Trump's ability to rally voters to his cause. Trump won all the swings, all seven, and he ran the table. Trump won so big, he, today he called the secretary of state in Georgia and he asked him to lose him 11,000. <laughs> Danica Patrick. This is the first election that you're gonna be voting in, is that true? Yes, that's true. It's. It's not something I'm proud of. The former professional racer is best known for her multiple accomplishments in the world of American auto racing, particularly her trailblazing status as having achieved multiple firsts for women in the sport. Breaking the glass ceiling aside, Patrick is less well known for her political activism, about which she only became truly vocal following President-elect Trump's 2024 electoral victory. It feels like voting for Donald Trump is like the vote of reason. It's like the rational, reasonable choice. In an Instagram post, the driver shared that after never voting once in her 42 years, she had broken that pattern to cast her ballot for Trump. Since his win, Patrick has repeatedly posted to Instagram stories about her support for Trump, praising his, quote, consistency on key political issues. I feel like it could not only be make America great again, but make America greater than it's ever been. Well, he is promising to usher in a new golden age, and he was in the golden arches. Jimmy Fallon. No matter who you voted for, I think all Americans can agree it's going to be a rough Thanksgiving. I mean, really, right? <laughs> Fallon, the former SNL cast member and current Tonight Show host, came under fire by some members of the liberal media during Trump's 2016 presidential campaign. An appearance by Trump on his Tonight Show yielded a controversial moment in which Fallon tousled Trump's famous head of hair in order to see if it was real. The answer is yes, but the people in New Hampshire, where I'm going to be in about an hour from now, I hope they're going to understand. Okay. <laughs> you say yes? Go ahead. In the years since, the president-elect has been a frequent target of Fallon's topical jabs. Following the 2024 election, Fallon continued to roast Trump much as he had done before, reflecting some of the general public's weariness of the 45th president's antics and calling to mind his past scandals. Trump won last night in pretty convincing fashion, securing the Electoral College and the popular vote, which means for the first time ever, he'll accept the results of an election. Jimmy Kimmel. Jimmy, come down. You're acting like a stupid little baby. Oh. After the events of November 5th, all eyes were on longtime ABC late-night host Kimmel, 
who has emerged as one of the loudest anti-Trump voices in the mainstream media. Opening his show with a brief sketch that jokingly depicted the comedian leaving the country for fear of being targeted by the president-elect, Kimmel's fiery emotional monologue spoke volumes. You know, I spent a lot of time over the last 17 hours or so thinking about what I would say tonight, what there even is to say tonight, and um, there's nothing. Good night, everybody. <laughs> Kimmel let loose on Trump, blasting his perceived hypocrisy and immorality and calling him out on accepting the results of the election after spending years calling the electoral process, quote, rigged. Notably, Kimmel became visibly emotional while lamenting the possible detrimental results of the upcoming Trump presidency, calling the evening, quote, a bad night for everyone who voted for him, too. You just don't realize it yet. It was a terrible night for poor people, for the middle class, for seniors who rely on Social Security, for our allies in Ukraine, for NATO, for the truth. John Stewart. Here's what we know, is that we don't really know anything and that we're going to come out of this election and we're going to make all kinds of pronouncements about what this country is and what this world is. And the truth is, we're not really going to know Pollsters, politicians, the media. Everyone took fire from longtime political comic and Daily Show host John Stewart on his election night live special. Chastising mainstream news outlets, the comedian commented that, quote, the lessons that our pundits take away from these results that they will pronounce with certainty will be wrong, and we have to remember that. And I think we are moving towards a post-racial America. Yeah, that lasted a day. Cautioning the weary general public against nihilism under the looming shadow of the second Trump presidency, Stewart unequivocally reaffirmed that the end is not nigh and that the possibility for fundamental systemic change lies with the people. This is not the end. And we have to regroup. Roseanne Barr. Is your family mad at you? Well, you know, we had some pro Hillary's and some pro Trump, right. and there was a lot of fighting. Long a staunch supporter of the president elect, outspoken comedian and performer Barr is no stranger to controversy herself. The former Roseanne star has frequently faced backlash and calls to apologize over tweets and statements perceived as racist and anti Semitic. Everybody had to choose for themselves, according to their own conscience, sure. who they thought was the lesser of two evils. You know, everybody chose that, so I'm not going to put anybody down who didn't vote like me. This is America. It's a free country. Barr endorsed Trump in 2016 while declining to confirm if she had voted for him, and reiterated her support for him a handful of times in the following years. Employing the Elon Musk-owned social media platform X, Barr responded to a post suggesting that Trump should appoint her to the role of press secretary, simply saying, quote, OK, I will do it. Weren't you a friend of, like a good friend of Hillary Clinton's at one point? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I was. Seth Meyers. You know, I just want to start tonight by admitting something I feel uh, you all should know. I voted for Kamala Harris. I know! I know, Myers keeps it close to the vest. Another longtime staple of NBC's late-night programming lineup, the current late-night host struck a resigned, if optimistic, note in addressing the election results. Myers acknowledged that he respected the American democratic process, sharing that he had voted for Vice President Harris and his belief that the president-elect is, quote, a bad person. It was like Christmas Eve, if you know... On Christmas morning, you're either going to wake up to find that Santa left presents under the tree or just took a huge dump in your fireplace. Analyzing the situation as part of his popular A Closer Look segment, Myers threw jabs at Trump, remarking that he had reacted to his win, quote, like a nerd who gets picked first for dodgeball, as well as his political allies. In closing, Myers mused that now is the time for the, quote, hard work of making real the world we want to live in. That's what we will be doing on day one. We do hope you'll join us. The clock is ticking. <laughs> and we are still going to try to have fun. Stephen Colbert. If you watch the show regularly, I'm guessing you're not doing great. Yeah, me neither. Much like his fellow late night hosts, the former Colbert Report host has routinely made political observations and Trump roasts an integral part of his tenure. Colbert put on a brave front, echoing Myers and Kimmel's uncertain but hopeful tone. Especially at times like this, what do we most want to be? Not alone. So thanks for being here. Ahead of his usual cold open, the CBS stalwart expressed gratitude for his employees, his audience, and his fellow Americans, before launching into a humorous montage of other countries' reactions to Trump's win. In his monologue, Colbert minced no words in questioning people's inherent goodness, 
and shot down suggestions that Trump in the White House was a boon to comedians, comparing himself to a janitor faced with, well, let's just say an explosive situation. I wish, you wish, so many of us wish this hadn't happened, but that is not for us to decide. This is a democracy. That's democracy with a capital, duh. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Wendell Pierce. These are poor, it's the poor rural white community of America. And these are the people who are excited and moved and embracing. You may know this multiple Tony Award nominee for his role as Detective Bunk Moreland on the iconic HBO crime drama series The Wire. But what you may not know about him is his political advocacy. Having openly supported Hillary Clinton in her ultimately unsuccessful 2016 bid for the White House, Pierce took to X to express a solemn, nuanced take, saying that, quote, democracy is clarity. As a student of human behavior, I believe it reflects the will of the people. Not because I um, see them as an enemy or anything like that, trying to understand what their concerns are. Picking up on Colbert's weariness, Pierce shared his opinion that, quote, it's clear that my neighbors, co-workers, and friends have no problem with a convicted felon leading their government. They share his values. People show you who they are. Uh, I'm interested in trying to understand my fellow man. So that's what I'm reading right now. And that was the great thing about growing up in a, in, a, in a society where your peers, your peer pressure was, keep working, better yourself. Were you shocked by the results of the 2024 U.S. presidential election? Don't forget to let us know in the comments. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.